welcome back to this Rift Let's Play. Yours, Sambo, Seraphis heals a lot, and joining us as always in this snowstorm is Tallahassee of the Storm in his fancy schmancy armor. Good evening, young man. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. You know what? I'm kind of pining for Iron Pine Peaks. Get it? Pining for... Anyway, I have been pining for Iron Pine Peaks with good reason. Look behind us and look how amazing this game looks. Seriously, that is incredible. Is that a bridge I can see over there? Like this a little bridge across the ravine? It is. It is. Hang on. Hang on a minute. I'm just looking at my quest. Hey, we get to go down south. Can we go over that bridge? Is that nearby where we need to go? Or are we going to be questing underneath there? Um, we will end up questing underneath there eventually. But for the moment, it's more sort of sound, so we're going past it a bit. Oh, okay. All right. So, by the way, welcome, folks. I'm just looking at my map, and you can see here we've got a few quests that we've got hanging over from last week. We've got this one here, clearing the path where we've got to kill Dark Tide Mages, and we only got three out of the five of those last week. And you can see down the south here we've got this quest called Checking the Dig, which is to collect frozen artifacts. Oh, Tallahassee, we can also kill the Dark Tide Snipers down there and Mages. Oh, so we can do it all down the bottom, can we? Mm-hmm. All right, okay. You know what? So we can head a little bit further south. Yep, I really want to do that. Before we do, though, we just got one little shout out. Of course, we love our shout outs. This is to Tim Callum. And Tim Callum says, Hey, Sambo and Tallahassee, I've played Rift for a little while, and most of the inspiration to play came from your videos. Oh, dear, oh, dear. If you're watching Tallahassee, of course, that's good inspiration. If you're watching me, that's probably not the best way to play the game. You two are a joy, and I was wondering if my level 40 clip Eric could get a shout out. His name is Alastor on the Wolfbane Shard. You most certainly can. Big shout out to the level 40 cleric called Alastor from Tim Callum. Nice to hear from you. I hope you're enjoying the game as much as I do. Although I hope you're leveling a lot faster than me because of course I've been playing for... How long have we been playing for now? Whoops, fell off my rock. How long have we been playing for now, Tallahassee? Is it coming up two years or something? It you're getting close to, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd think so. And I'm only level 44, which is kind of sad and awesome. It's sad because I should be max level by now, but I don't care one bit because I've just been enjoying the ride. And look at that view! That is amazing! You explained what that big structure was in the background last week, I think, but can you remind me again, do we get to go there or is that just scenery? No, we do get to go there, and all I'm going to say is it's important. Aha, uh -huh, okay, all right. Whoa, 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 what is that thing there? That's... This is rift. Whoa, that is amazing. Oh, okay, so, hang on, rocks. What sort of rift is this then? Oh, a stone rift, is it? No, what is it? Wait a minute. No, it's air. Oh, air rift, right, okay, yeah, fair enough. Now, oh, so these are the Dark Tide Snipes, so they're hanging about in the rift. Is that normal for quest NPCs to be in rifts, or just a coincidence or something? Um, no, more often than not, they're a rat. Okay, well, there's another one. Because they'll just be hanging around in their normal spots. What, and a rift will appear just coincidentally over the top of them, anyhow? Yep. Yeah, fair enough. Oh god, it's the ones that have the weird, like, over the top, ridiculous death sound. <laughs> Don't you reckon? It's alright. Sounds like something else is happening to them, and it's not death. That's all I'll say. Keeping it a family show, of course. <clears throat> Family friendly. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Intensify the elements there, and that's awesome because that actually embiggens me and means that I'm actually going to be physically taller and bigger. Look at that! Than you! I'm actually bigger than you. I've got this ability which makes me well increases my damage done. Oh, there we go. Shrunk down again. Increases my damage done by 100%, and my elemental damage done by 50%. And of course, it makes me bigger at the same time. Look at this! We've got a quest over here. What's going on? Is that? It's not part of our quest that we're on now, is it? Is this something additional? Something additional. Okay, collect a control gem. There's another quest gem. back over this way as well. We will reveal. Really? Okay, quest mm -hmm. accepted. Hang on, that means we've got to kill more Dark Tide Mages, I think. Is that right? Yep. All right, fair That's enough. That's fine. We'll be able to do that. God, it's beautiful around here, isn't it? Oh, look at that! All right, cool. Killing spree! Killing spree! Time to lay down some AOE. Oh yeah, God, I love that ability. Wow, okay, they did not last very long, did they? <laughs> nope. Whoa. You don't have all the aggro. 
Yeah. Oh my god. It's okay. We got this. She can come over here as well. Good lord. Alright, so. Oh man. Do we actually have the item we need for the quest, do you think? Oh, I don't know. What's this? This is the parchment here as well. Oh, yep. There we go. Collect a control gem. So we got that. And bring the suspicious note to watch in Nathan in Oathbound Pass. Absolutely. Oh, I can hear werewolves in the yeah, background. Check. Oh, what's that? It was sparkling and now it's not. That's part of the quest. Oh, so... Yeah, so it's, there's another one over here. Oh, oh, where'd you go? So check the Dark Tide Sniper. There we no, go. What's your pet doing? I have no idea. It's it's a telling it wasn't me. It's just decided to have a mind of its own and attack the Dark Tide Mages. I think you need to set it to passive. Uh let's have a look here. He's on defensive. That should be okay. Okay, so he must be attacked. Yeah, maybe. Right, so there's another spy thing over here. Oh I can see one here. I'm frozen artifact. There we go. Oh, and there's a Okay, there's one there. Oh, I see. So we have to collect multiples of them. Right, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, so. But, but as usual, they're not counting one for over each other. Here. Oh, yeah. No. I'll grab all of these guys. There's one near a stump. Oh, that's all that. that. Yep, got that one. Their snipers are all done for me now, too. I've just got to get a couple more stalkers. And three out of six of those. All right, doing well. Oh, look, there's another. Oh, can I grab this one? Hey, I did a little forward roll. Yep. Since when do I roll when I jump? I don't remember being a night elf. <laughs> well, you do now. Uh, let's, is, that, with it. is that new? I don't honestly remember. No. Not a fact here, by the way. Oh, what? Oh, my God. You are so good right. at spotting them. Right I would crack. Yeah, I would have just run away from that. Mind you, I don't make a habit of looking in little cracks. But uh, anyhow, that's another story for another day. All right. Sure. So, so what have we got to do? we got 11. Well, I've got 11 out of 12 of the Dark Tide tied as Stalkers, if I can say it correctly. And I need another two. Yeah, another two frozen artifacts, I think. What about you? Uh, I need two more frozen artifacts and one Dark Tide Stalker. Your target is already dead. Fine. So there's a Dark Tide Stalker right there. Let's grab this guy. Or oh, this gal, as the case may be. Alright, right, so bird. there is one frozen artifact here. Collecting. And there's a werewolf. Not for much longer, there isn't. No, it's gonna die. Oh, werewolves. They always remind me of that zone. What was that zone where we got turned into werewolves and there's vampires and stuff? That was so awesome. I love the story in there. Oh, God. Um, you remember the one, right? Yeah, I know the zone that you're talking about. I know. Um, Glenwood. Oh, was it Glenwood? That was so cool. We had to go out to that, like, mansion and... Oh, it was awesome. And there was that cool little village mm. in the middle of the woods. And You know what? I think... I might have to reevaluate. I mean, I, I definitely think that this... Iron Pine Peak is one of my favourite zones so far because of the fact purely that it's snowy. Right, there's no doubt about it. But I think... Oh, I've got all mine. I'm all done. Thank you. I'm I think okay. that, you know, in terms of actual story and stuff, I don't know, I kind of kind of really like that Gloomwood. It was something neat about that. It had a really good atmosphere. It, it was probably the most atmospheric zone, yeah. I think, in the game. Yeah. It is really nice, but... Nothing really compares to that zone. Yeah, for the story. Because and... a bit of a horror movie. Yeah, yeah. I think we said at the time it's kind of got a Hammer horror film feel to it, hasn't it? Um, now, hang on, I'm never looking at my map here, and the only thing I've got left is to go up to here near Ice Watch Ridge and do using the control gem on a prospector. Is that right? And there's a whole yep. bunch of Handins way up north. So I guess should we go up to there to the control gem use thing? I think that's probably the best bet, isn't it? Yep. Yep, so we'll do that. I'm a coming. Now, how come... Hang on a minute. How come I can't hand this in? Is it because I need to use the control gem? Yeah. Oh, and then we have to come back here. All right. A little bit confusing. It's not like a few you. <laughs> not unusual at all. You're doing a Tom Jones retrospective? It's not unusual to be confused. Well, unusual for you to be confused, Liz. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. You know, get it right. Right. <laughs> All right. Mount up. Giddy up. Giddy up, Seraphis. I might just grab as many of these as I can. Yeah, good idea, actually. Oh, come on. Man, some of my casts take so long. 
It's big as your account, huh? Yep. Yeah. Break it, do you? <laughs> like pretty quick. Yeah. Our DPS is pretty good together, okay. I reckon. Oh, what is this? Whoa. Captured Prospector. Have a chat to him. All right, I'm yep. using a control gem. And there we go. Done. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Hang on. Do we have to do more than one? No. That's it. We can return now and hand no. in. You, you just attack something. I accidentally may have. I mean, I mean, my pet obviously okay. aggroed again. It was nothing to do with me whatsoever. <clears throat> cough, cough. Hmm. Oh, man, that does look pretty coming out of that cave. That is very cool. It does. All right, mounting I like up. the lighting changes because there's a rift over there. Yeah, yeah, look so at, look yeah, at the, the trees. The... Yeah, you can see it shining on the trees, can't you? That is very cool. Where's yep. our hand in? Just down here. Oh, there he is. Hello there, Mr. Crushick Iron Toe. Alright, done. Easy peasy. Alright, so I'm guessing now we have to head up. Should we head to the road and then head up north and go back to Oathbound Pass? Yep, that's right. what I head. Sounds good to me. Cutting across to Z Path, avoiding Z Mobs. But yeah, you're right about that lighting there. Look at it! Look at it on the snow down there, too. That is amazing, isn't it? I love the fact that it lights up everything around it, including the trees. That is so cool. Ah, yeah. Never get tired of this game. Now, have you been Seriously, wandering you... around mm -hmm. any dimensions since we were last here? No, but there's an artifact here. What? Well, <laughs> Seriously? Okay, wait a minute. I have to ask, have you got like an add-on or something? Oh my god, how did you even see that? It's, it's, it's white. It is a white artifact in white snow. I couldn't even see it. It was straight in front of my face. I know, but I've seen it placed there before, so... Uh, far out. Even if I'd seen it there before, I honestly wouldn't remember. You've got a knack for it. This yeah, I know out. that. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Now, by the way, if I have a look at the Simon map... Simon likes to hide them. He, he does like to hide them. Um, if I zoom out here just very quickly, and I can see that we're mm -hmm. getting close to completion in terms of the Iron Pine Peak here, where, just out of interest, are we going to be sent next? Is it Stillmore that's next door there? Yep, so Stillmore's next door, but there's still this section of the map to go, there's still this section of the map to go, uh, yeah. and there's still this section of the map to go. Yeah, true. So, true. so there's still a fair way to we've go. Got, yeah. yeah, we've got a lot to do. That's all right. I just wonder where we were actually going to get sent next, or whether we were going to get sent down south or something. So that's cool. Oh, look at this. This is going to be nice. Lots and lots of yummy XP here as we hand in Defender Bavik. Hello. Notoriety with the Ice Watch, and of course they are the Cupcake people. Here we go. Discover a cave entrance is the next quest we get from them. Let's see what this guy is Good giving us. You. Oh, some dark uh, gloves. Uh, they're kind of similar to what I've got, so I'll take ones that sell for more. Report to Defender Malik in Exile's That's Den. Yes, best of luck to you as well. Oh, you're right. Look at this. We get to go over to the southwest now, so that's kind of cool. All right, and what's this guy got for us? Hello. Hello. Report to defend. Okay, so everyone Journey wants us well. to go to Exile's Den. Now, I'm looking. We've got about three or four minutes left. Do you reckon we can make it there if we go down the road? Do we just follow that road all the way down here sort of thing, do we, basically? Yeah. All right, why don't we do that? It'll be a nice way to finish off okay. our episode. All right, following you, sir. I don't mind do, okay. doing these sort of uh, road trips because just like a real road trip, I guess. It gets, we kind of see a bit of the scenery and, you know, I don't mind. It's kind of like our own National Lampoon's vacation, don't you think? <laughs> really? Is there going to be Chris Brinkley in a Ferrari? Uh, well, no, not quite. Although that would be kind of cool. Well, wow. yes, you're Christy Brinkley in a Ferrari. I am. You can pretend that I am Christy Brinkley. There we go. In fact, there's an opportunity for some of our viewers, some internet points there. What what uh, musician's uh, video do... Ah! Ah! What musician's video did Christy Brinkley appear in back in, what, the late 80s, was it? Do you even know Tallahassee? Late 80s, I would have been at most... You know, sort of six or seven. Oh, well, I mean, you know, I might have as well, but I'm just saying, you know, in terms of history, we know this. We know, well, okay, look, I'll give you a clue. The musician's initials are B and J. There we go. And Christy Brinkley appears in one of his videos. In fact, I think she appears in a few of his videos. And I've got a funny feeling they were actually B together. And yeah, B and J. So there B you go. B and J. Yep. Now, if you figure it out, don't say anything. No clues. No clues for our viewers. There you go, folks. Ten internet points. I just got knocked off my horse. Why did I get a what? Where did you come from? Seriously, come on. You made friends. I did. I'm going to blame my elemental pet once again. <laughs> Poor thing. Thing's going to get blamed for everything. Only... I was going to say you can only blame it for so long. 
Yeah, I know. Alright, there we go. Done, oh. done, and done. There we go. See, that's a nice view, isn't it? Look at that view! That is so awesome. Right, where are we going? This is a neat little road. Do you know what? These roads actually remind me of New Zealand. Hey! Hey! Can you look up the top? There's actually a hut up the top there. Straight ahead. Hang on, I'm going to try and hmm. mark it on the map. It's round about there, I reckon. Like, just literally straight ahead, but up on. It looks like it's somewhere that you can't get to or something. I wonder if there's actually anything in there, or if it's just one of those really cool little touches that the devs have put down, like there are all over this game. You know, for no reason other than it looks cool, you know. No, it suggests there'd be a way to get to it. Yep. Oh, look, there's that bridge. There's that bridge. That's very cool. But that's not where we're going, is it? Nope. Damn it. All right, that's all right. We can go there next episode. We'll go and have a look. I really want to cross over that bridge because it looks so cool. Hey, but we're getting close to that structure, which, by the way, Tallahassee has said is very important, so we'll keep an eye on that. No problem. Where are the... Artifact. What? You're... Oh, good Lord. Are you going to pick one up or am I allowed to grab it all the time? No, it's all yours. Man. All right, so in other words, Tallahassee is my all-seeing eye for artifacts. No complaints from me. None whatsoever. All right, so... Oh, look at this. Look, look, look. There's a porticulum I can see. Yay. Okay, we haven't seen one of these for quite some time. So I'm guessing... Whoa, lots of quests here. I am guessing that this is a pretty major landmark area. Look at this. There's a porticulum. There's a mailbox. Tons of stuff. Now, let's open this up right yeah. away. Uh, into the porticulum, yes please. Whoa, okay, that's definitely helping out because that means we've got all three, look at that, all three of them covered in iron pine peaks now, central, western and eastern. That is very, very handy. Oh, very nice. And we're at the foot of this structure, whatever it is. So you know what, I can't wait till next week because I dare say there's going to be heaps and heaps of stuff that we're going to be figuring out here. Heaps and heaps of stuff to do and maybe Tallahassee will be able to find out exactly what that structure is. That is awesome awesome now i've lost you where'd you go are you wandering around doing stuff already no rest for the wicked mm -hmm. good lord well that is it for us folks we are absolutely out of time now thank you very much certainly hope you enjoyed this episode hope you're enjoying the shorter format like we said last week it just means that we get right into things and it's a little bit more action-packed to be honest i'm enjoying this a lot more but you know what doesn't mean that we're not going to be stopping and sniffing the roses along the way it's me of course we're going to do that but in the meantime we need to get out of here certainly hope you guys are having a great week we're if you are in the world, we do look forward to seeing you next time. We will see you then, and bye-bye.